Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And today we're going to look at metal swirls and ornament work and things like that. A really simple and easy techniques to actually get that done. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is add a plane. So we're going to press Shift A, Mesh, come over to where it says plane. And then we're going to press S just to scale it up a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a curve. So Shift A again, come down to where it says curve bring in a bezier curve and you can just see it there next you're going to press tab to go into edit mode you're going to press a just to make sure you've grabbed all of these vertices that you see and you're going to press delete and then you're going to click on vertices and you'll see that it's actually still here and that's exactly what we want next thing we need to do is now come across to this little icon called draw click on it and then what you're going to do is you're going to come across make sure you're on actual tools and come down and put this depth on surface then you're going to press 7 on the number pad and that will give you the top view and then you can zoom out a little bit. Now you can do this with a mouse or you could do it with a tablet. I think a tablet is a little bit easier. So what we're going to do now is just draw out a metal swirl. Like so. So once you're happy with your metal swirl, come over to the left hand side and click on move. And now you're free to actually move around. So we'll move around and just put it like that. And then we'll come over to our curve settings, which is over here. We'll scroll down and you have one that's called extrude. Turn this up a little bit and you see your actual curve will start coming out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring in a modifier. So come over to this little spanner. Come up to add modifier. Come down to where it says solidify. And we're just going to solidify that it's it. So I'm going to put an even thickness. I'm going to bring this back whichever way you want to. So I'd say on this one, if you can see here, for instance, that they're starting to overlap a bit, you can sort that out, but it's a bit harder. So just bring them out the other way, just so they're not overlapping, something like that. Then what you're going to do is to turn this into actual mesh is you're going to press the tab button. You're going to come up to where it says object, come down to where it says convert and go over to where it says mesh from curve. And now when you press tab, you actually have mesh. Now to make this look better, all we need to do is we need to come over to the triangle, come over to where it says normals, just click this uh, down, this button here, and click auto smooth. And there you go. Now if it's not smooth enough on some parts, just turn up the auto smooth on here to something like 50 or 60 degrees. And lastly, what you can do is you can taper off these edges. So how we do that is we press tab, come to face select, click on the face, make sure you're on proportional editing this button here and then press the S button and you can actually taper this end off. Now you will notice that it tapers also on the Z axis so you can see it's actually shrinking down this way. All you need to do is just come up to where it says resize down the bottom left hand side, open it up and turn this Z axis which is this one going down to zero and there you go. Now you've got it tapered in on all the angles except the Z axis. Okay everyone, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it useful. If you want to help support the channel via courses or Patreon, then just check out the links below. And as always, happy modeling everyone. See you on the next one. Bye bye.